Hello and welcome back. I am looking incredibly scruffy and windswept because I have just got back from Walthamstow Market where I decided to go with Elspeth today just to see if we could pick up a few extra fabrics after our rather disappointing trip to the Goldhawk Road the other day. It's an incredibly blustery day here in soggy Essex. It's been raining on and off all day and I'm thoroughly cold and blown away but I do have some really nice fabrics to share with you. So first up I have fancied trying a stretch velvet dress for a very long time. I quite fancy something sheath like although I don't have the flattest of tummies so I'm not sure how flattering that would be and when I made my molly dress the other day by sew over it I thought that would be perfect. However since I found the fabric I've had a change of heart. So this is the fabric I picked up, you can see it's got beautiful dusky pink roses on it and it's a kind of, it's not navy, it's like a really dark grey background, it's beautifully soft and this was £4 a metre I think um, in one of the shops on Walthamstow Market so I asked for two metres but she had two and just under a half I think so she gave me the whole lot for £10 so there's plenty here. On reflection, I think the kind of sheath dress that I'd like needs to be a really dark velvet, like a black, with almost like big red roses over it. Um, and this is a bit too girly and a bit too twee for that. So actually I think it would make a really nice long-sleeved skater dress. Um, and there is more than enough fabric here to do that. There's also enough fabric to make an exact match for Little Miss Mac. So we could have exact matching dresses, which would be quite cute. So I think that's what this is destined to be. Now in the same shop was this amazing knit fabric. And it is almost like jumper on a roll. So I'll show you. There we go. So it's like a sagey green rib. Um, and it really is super, super stretchy one way and then it doesn't have any stretch at all the other way. So it is a one way stretch. Again, I thought about doing a molly dress with this. I thought about a jumper dress. But now that I've got it home and had a, a good drape with it, I think this would look really nice um, as a long sleeve bat wing jumper dress that I could cinch in with a belt if I wanted to uh, with a big solid cuff around the bottom and big solid cuffs around the sleeves and I think a lovely big drapey cowl neck like a really big, almost like my scarf that I've got on a big kind of drapey cowl and I've got two metres of this and it's really quite wide so if anybody has any suggestions for jumper dresses with bat wing sleeves and a big cow neck I would love to hear them please um, otherwise I think I probably will do the molly dress but I might just make the sleeves a lot bigger um, and then possibly draft my own neck band I'm not quite sure um, so yeah if you've got any suggestions please let me know so the third fabric as always when I come across a good quality jersey I will just buy it and this is a really nice cotton jersey it's in a nice pink and grey stripe um, and it's lovely quality and it's just destined to be another Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top although this time I think I'll put the elastic ruching down the front because I've never done that before and I think with the stripes it will give a really nice effect if it's running down the stripes this way can hear the wind there's bins and dust bins and everything else blowing around in my garden it's terrible okay last fabric this one is gorgeous it's like a suiting fabric it's kind of tweedy but it's very thin it's not a thick fabric at all um let me try and open it up so you can see there we go it's a kind of rosy lilac-y color almost and gray fleck and it's all woven but you can see you can see it's quite drapey it's not all that thick now originally I bought this to do a Tilly and the Buttons Cleo pinafore with I thought it would look really really lovely um, but over lunch Elspeth and I were talking and I actually think it would just make a really nice classic shift dress 
but I'm going to make one um, with sleeves. I've got a really nice simplicity pattern that I've used before um, that just does a really classic straight um, boat neck climb with little cuffed sleeves and it's ever so nice. It's going to be a classic dress. It's going to be something if I wanted to I could wear over a long sleeve white top with boots and tights in the winter um, or alternatively it would be really nice um, in the spring and autumn without a long sleeve top so i'm going to get that done and come back to you so a little update on where we're at with fabric and things like that obviously you've recently seen i did um a craftcation or sewcation video and i talked to you about all the different things that i'd made recently i then promised you a jersey neckband tutorial and that will hopefully have gone up by now um, then there's obviously today my fabric haul and then next Thursday I have a day off work and I have every intention to do lots and lots of filming of all of my makes. So I will then slowly start to drip feed out my pattern reviews and my makes videos for you so that you've got plenty to look forward to that's coming up. Anyway, any suggestions on that jumper dress? I'd love to hear it and I will be back soon with another video. See you soon.